Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, welcome. It is very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up squad? So, welcome to your readings for September 2018, yeah? Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you to all the new subscribers, but thank you to all the returning subscribers. Uh, your support is everything to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Uh, we just recently hit 10,000, and I'm super, super happy. I couldn't be more grateful. Thank you to all you guys. You are freaking amazeballs, yeah? <laughs> so, uh, just a few things. One, this is a general reading, so please take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, and the energies are interchangeable, okay? So it could be you that we're talking about. It could be the other person that we're talking about, if we're talking about another person. Um, these aren't necessarily love readings, but love definitely comes out because I am channeling for the Venus sign. Your Venus sign is uh, how you approach love, how your information about that. So if you are looking for information about like, your love life, I would recommend, me personally, I recommend that you always start with your Venus sign. You can find that out um, if you pull you know uh, pull up your birth chart yeah drop your birth chart now about birth charts um, I want to make a little bit of a uh, bit of a suggestion um, this might be a bit of a long intro if people want to leave a timestamp go right ahead um, but I do recommend that you guys listen to the intro at least once especially if you're watching like a bunch of different signs um, just listen to the intro at least once and then like do whatever um, but uh, I recently got into Vedic Astrology, which is uh, also known as Sidereal, I believe. Um, and uh, I did this because my spiritual team, my spiritual guides really pushed it for me to start investigating. And I did so. And I learned that my signs are different. Okay, So I always thought of, uh, I grew up as a Taurus. My sun sign was Taurus. But then when I did the Eastern chart, the Vedic chart, um, sidereal chart, I learned that my son is actually in Aries. And when, <laughs> when I learned about that and, and I really like investigated and I read it and I like felt it out, it, it immediately clicked. Like it felt right. I was like, Oh, Oh man. Because when I started to look back on like how I present myself, how I like how I work in the world and everything like that, um, I am very much an Aries. <laughs> So that makes sense. I still kind of resonate with Taurus, but um, very much in Aries. So then other than that, you know, in, in the Western chart, um, my moon sign was Leo and my rising sign is Venus. I'm sorry, rising sign is Venus. No, my rising sign is Virgo and my Venus is in Aries. But then in the Eastern chart, my moon sign is Cancer, my rising sign is Leo, and then my Venus is in Pisces. And when I looked at all that uh, that stuff too, I was like, oh my God, that makes so much more sense. Because when it came to the Western chart, I was like, how am I so intuitive, but I don't have, I barely have any water in my chart. I think in the Western chart, I think I have like one planet in Scorpio. Um, and it might, I think it might be Neptune or something. I don't know. But then when it came to the Eastern chart, there was all the water I was missing, right? So for me personally, things really clicked and I understood, I came to a better understanding of myself. So the reason why I'm sharing this with you guys is I encourage you to check that out. Um, you can watch my videos or any of the videos, whether you, whether you resonate more with Western or Eastern astrology, it really doesn't matter. It's just um, all about how you feel how this connects with you, how it resonates with you, okay? Um, so I'm, I put uh, some links to some websites to, that are, I find are to be really, really great um, in giving you your chart. Um, actually, there's one, there's one that actually will give you both, but I'll give you two, two different options. Um, they're going to be in this description box below, and uh, I encourage you guys to, you know, insert your um, your birth data, your birth information, and check it out. See what comes out, and if you resonate with something, go for it, and then start to watch the videos from that point of view. Like if now, if you all of a sudden you find that things are different when it comes to the Eastern chart, and you want, and you kind of resonate with it already, and you want to watch videos uh, in line with that, I encourage you to do so. You know, it's really all about what you resonate with, how, what you feel about the situation. Yeah. Okay. With that said, um, I'll, a few more things. One, you can find me in New York City at Om Shanti Bookshop. 
every Monday from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Om Shanti is located on 14th Street between 2nd and 3rd Avenue in the East Village of Manhattan. So come check me out if you're in the area. I would love to meet you guys in person. Um, the, uh, the link to the website uh, for Om Shanti Bookshop is in the description box below. So you can go to the website, get their phone number, give them a call. If you want to schedule a reading beforehand, you're more than welcome to do so. Or at the same time, walk-ins are definitely welcome. Um, and it's a great shop, you know, they've got all kinds of really nice stuff. The crystal selection is fantastic. So if you're into crystals, I recommend coming down and checking us out. We have a lot of great stuff there. Um, you can get some crystals wrapped and put into jewelry for you at the shop. Um, if you do want some crystal wrapping, ask for Martha. She's great at that. Um, what else? Oh, I am available for private readings. Uh, my email address is in the description box below, along with a description of all the readings that I offer, all in the description box. If you would like a personal reading with me, just go down into the description box, look at the options, read through them, see which one might, may work well for you, and then throw shoot me an email. If you don't know which reading would be best for you, go ahead and email me, and we'll chat, and I'll help you decide which one you would like, yeah? Okay, so for the readings this month, um, I'm using the Golden Universal Tarot. I love this deck, guys. I love it. It's just so pretty. And then I am closing out the readings with Oracle Guidance from my favorite, Oracle of the Unicorns. Yeah, I love unicorns. I personally believe that I am a unicorn, but you know what? That's fine. Whatever. <laughs> All right, guys. I guess that's it. Thank you for sticking in to with the with the long intro with me. If you did, if you didn't, don't worry about it. It's fine. You can't even hear this part of the message anyway. <laughs> I love you guys. Yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Let's get to it. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for September 2018. Thank you so much for joining me. All right. Let's just get straight into it. Yeah. Word. <laughs> Hi Spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Scorpio for the month of September 2018. And please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Scorpio. So before I start shuffling, I just want to make sure that I get this out there. I was pre-shuffling the deck, just channeling the energies. And first of all, I'm seeing a whole lot of purple for you. Now, you are a water sign. You are definitely very, very intuitive. Okay, so there's that. But also, this purple is um, divine wisdom and spiritual wisdom, maybe even spiritual advancement or um, maybe third eye... A third eye activation, um, psychic attunement, psychic awareness uh, expanding. Um, and as I was like just shuffling up the cards to collect the energy, a few things fell out. We had the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Page of Cups first. So that was definitely talking about your, your energy as a water sign. Um, but there's an instance, there's a moment of self-discovery going on, okay? And what else came out after that was the Hermit in reverse, the sun, and the six of wands. And I think that was it. So you're really in an introspective stage right now. Okay. The hermit does talk about Virgo. So we are in Virgo season. You could be going through a transformative phase, whereas by the time you come out of Virgo season, because the hermit wasn't like kind of in reverse, um, they all just kind of fell out. But that one was upside down, so it was reversed. But um, by the time we come out of Virgo season, there may, you might be, uh, you something may really have been eliminated for you, um, and you may come out of this Virgo season very feeling very, very victorious, feeling like you really accomplished something, okay? Um, the Knight of Cups in reverse was talking about, to me, it was saying that you're not really, you may not be looking for love right now, um, you may not be extending any offers of love externally. Um, you may be letting go of a relationship, uh, rescinding an offer even, in order to go within and understand yourself better. 
You may be isolating yourself from a current lover, um, a current relationship, in order to gain some sort of deeper insight. And that I was getting from the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Page of Cups upright, okay? Um, the Page of Cups is also the dreamer. So you could be, in, instead of extending any sort of love offers externally, you could be taking that energy and recycling it in order to dream of something new, create something new, okay? And then with the sun and the six of wands, um, there could be a Leo in your life or another fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius, or it should, could just be that by the time we come out of Virgo season, you'll be emerging a new, brand new person with brand new insight about yourself um, and feeling quite victorious. So that's good. All right, Virgo. Not Virgo. <laughs> Sorry. Scorpio. <laughs> Sorry, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. Let me... All right, let me just recon recollect the energies here for a second. Scorpio. Scorpio, Scorpio. I'm going to give you two more shuffles. There's that purple energy. I mean, you're very intuitive, very psychically aware right now. And the Ten of Cups keeps catching my attention. So ultimate fulfillment is what you're working towards, I want to say. All right, Scorpio. You are ready. Let's cut the deck here. Okay, Scorpio, starting you off. Hello, hello. Seven of Swords in reverse. So you're coming out of a deceptive period, Scorpio. Releasing deceptive tendencies, potentially. Releasing yourself from deceptive situations. Situations that leave you feeling depleted. Lied to. Cheated on. Cheated walked all over, taken for granted maybe. I do like seeing the Seven of Swords in reverse. All right, look at you, Scorpio. Hello, we've got the Six of Swords. So you're definitely moving away from some sort of deceptive energy, whether that be tendencies or people, places, things, circumstances. And look at that. There's that Six of Wands again. I told you, victory. And you moving away from this energy, I'm really picking up, I'm really, deceptive tendencies is really coming through very strongly right now in this situation. And you moving away from these things is absolutely a victory. Whether it's you changing your ways or changing the, changing who and what you're surrounding yourself by. And this is all facilitated through that deep introspection of Virgo season. Hallelujah. Underneath all of that, you've got the Page of Swords in reverse. I heard no more watching social media. Maybe if you were stalking someone, no more stalking them. Uh, maybe um, um, not needing to learn anything else. Releasing also, also, I'm pick, really picking up very strongly, releasing a immature mentality, um, immature forms of communication, finally growing out of that, wanting to grow out of that. An immature mental state, an immature mindset even. Lots of, lots of really deep and good change for you, Scorpio. All right? First set of current energies for the first half of the month. We've got... Ooh, ooh, but there's that Ten of Cups. But now it's reversed. So something really wasn't fulfilling you, huh, Scorpio? It was not the fulfillment that you wanted is what I'm hearing. Okay. Ten of Cups in reverse is coupled with... <gasps> Bam! The Ace of Cups. Why? You found self-love, Scorpio. Whatever you're releasing yourself from, whatever you're moving away from, 
has been has served to, un to help you understand contrast. What it is you don't want so that you can move forward towards what you really truly do want. Could be that you don't have this Ten of Cups and so now you're being forced to start at the bottom. Start from the beginning. And that beginning is self-love. I really feel like some of you were in a very, very deceptive situation when it comes to whatever the Ten of Cups represents. But it's only served to, fate, to teach you to face yourself and learn to love yourself. I'm getting an energy of starting over. There could have been a breakup in the recent past, or there could be a breakup in this moment of the month, which is leading you towards a new beginning in love. I feel like some of you are really in a, a relationship that really just... I heard knocked your socks off. <laughs> but not necessarily in a good way. <laughs> Like, really, really made you realize something. I'm getting a strong energy of self-love here. Self-worth. Mm -hmm. Especially Seven of Swords in reverse, Six of Swords, Six of Wands. Now with the Ace of Cups on the Ten of Cups in reverse. You could be in a relationship with a Scorpio. Or Scorpio, you could be in a relationship with someone else. This could be... Uh, well, yeah. Self-love. All right. Second half, uh, second set of current energies for the first half of the month. We've got the five of wands in reverse. So yeah, releasing conflict. And this conflict, what I'm really picking up here, this conflict is um, inner conflict around letting go of, I want to hear, nar I, 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 I want to say, because I heard, narcissistic tendencies. Whether that be you, Scorpio, or someone else you're associated with. There was trepidation, there was fear, there was um, contra con contradictory feelings towards letting this go. But now those that contradiction, that chaos, that inner struggle is gone. Five of Wands, reversed, is coupled with the Ace of Wands in reverse. Done. Not giving to this situation anymore. Not being inspired by this anymore. Realizing that you, you have nowhere left to go with this. Really, and this, uh, and what I'm getting here, for some of you, this relationship was very sexual in nature. There was a lot of sexual energy, a lot of passion and passionate energy. The sex might have been great. Conversely, the sex might not have been all that good. But where that inner black in that inner battle comes from it's like well no the sex doesn't have to be good for me to be in a relationship with someone okay you know you're right it's not all about sex but damn that sure helps doesn't it <laughs> and actually that is an ex a, a, a exercise of self love in the sense that you love yourself enough to know that you don't have if you're not happy with something, you don't have to stay. Period. It's not selfish. It's just understanding who you are, what you want, and going after it. All right? Current challenge for the first half of the month, we've got the High Priestess. Intuition, secrets, understanding yourself better. Could also be just keeping things to yourself right now. Not revealing too much. Uh, high Priestess is coupled with whoop, the Queen of Cups in reverse. So this is you, Scorpio. Could be. Now, we've got the two most psychic individuals in the deck here as your current challenge. We've got the High Priestess, and we've got the Queen of Cups. So this is speaking to that psychic attunement, that psychic awareness, that psychic uh, expansion that I was picking up on with all that purple color I was seeing. 
But also what this really could be saying is your current challenge right now, Scorpio, could be keeping your emotions in check. Like it could be feeling a lot of really strong, overpowering emotions and having being challenged with keeping that under wraps with the high priestess. Maintaining your, I want to say secrecy, but I feel like there's a better word for that. Autonomy? No. Discretion? Maybe it's better. Keeping it under wraps is what I'm hearing. Not allowing yourself to go too far, too, with emotional outburst, potentially. Coming to a deeper understanding of what is really making you feel so emotional. Yeah, that's your current challenge for the first half of the month, Scorpio. Potential outcome for the first half of the month, you got, whoop, King of Swords. Cutting some shit out. Objectively, diplomatically, fairly. Like giving something or someone the chance to really, I don't know, explain themselves is what I want to say. Is what I heard. But still, being the authority that's making that executive decision. And if something doesn't feel right, especially with all this psychic awareness you've got going on, if something doesn't feel right, cut that shit out. King of Swords is coupled with, uh-oh, justice in reverse. You could be dealing with a Libra, okay? So you could be cutting a Libra out of your life. And what I'm seeing here, really, um, the King of Swords is seeing things clearly. The King of Swords is seeing the injustices clearly and doing what he knows he needs to in order to balance out to make things right. For himself, but also for others. Observing and analyzing the injustices you've been facing. Or maybe even the injustices that you have put out there. So, Scorpio, if you've been the one that's been exhibiting these narcissistic or deceptive tendencies here that are indicative of the Seven of Swords in reverse... You might have some karma to pay with the King of Swords and Justice in reverse. Somebody sees right through you, Scorpio. Somebody sees right through you. Or Scorpio sees right through you. Whoever we are talking to, if there's a cross watcher here. Mm. Okay. Second half of the month. Current ener uh, energies for the second half of the month. Okay, upcoming energies. Yeah. Seven of Cups in reverse. Not in reverse, upright, I'm sorry. Se Seven of Cups. So, illusion, fantasy. This is an energy of working through all of the different things in your life that are causing you Trouble, maybe. Conjuring up some new wishes or desires, even. Understanding what it is you really desire. Seven of Cups is coupled with the Four of Cups. All right, so I'm getting an energy of, I mean, I heard unrequited love. Okay, sure. Maybe you're a, someone that has just has a bunch of options right now and you're not really trying to accept anything from anyone. I mean, that's what the Knight of Cups in reverse was saying to me with the Page of Cups. So I guess this, this is re it's reflecting that energy or mirroring that energy of the Knight of Cups in reverse and the Page of Cups upright. Not accepting any offers from others or not even really giving any offers from others or to others with the Four of Cups here in order to understand what it is you truly desire on a deeper level with the Seven of Cups. And the Page of Cups was the energy that was saying to me that was self-discovery, the dreamer. Understanding what it is you truly want, what you really want out of your life, your dreams, your desires. The Four of Cups is also giving me an energy of really making sure before you accept anything. 
looking through all the possibilities. Now, caution there, okay? Don't get wrapped up in the what ifs and end up missing out on something because you're hesitating too much, okay? Second set of current of upcoming energies for the second half of September. We've got the tower in reverse. Excuse me. So it looks like this, the first half of the month really was a big tower moment for you, Scorpio, or someone connected with you. Uh, I'm picking up Mars energy, destructive yet creative. So you could be coming out of a tower moment, Scorpio, or someone around you. The tower is coupled with, hello, the chariot. So yeah, you're coming out of a tower moment and you're moving forward in a really passionate, driven, swift direction. You could be, a, you could be dealing with a cancer. Or any other le uh, air sign. I mean, we definitely have Libra here already. Um, and then we have the King of Swords, so it could be a Gemini and Aquarius also. All right, but yeah. Coming out of the Tower moment and really moving forward in a new, better direction, I'm hearing. All right. Uh, upcoming challenge for the second half of the month, we have Ace of Swords. You got a lot of aces here, Scorpio. Ace of Swords is upright, truth. So you're, you're, an upcoming challenge for you, Scorpio, could very well be facing the truth. And I already said with the King of Swords, seeing things as they truly are. So in the second half of your month, you're going to be forced to see things for what they really are. You're challenged with that. Being honest, speaking your truth. Knowing what your truth is and going for it with the, with the chariot here. Ace of Swords is coupled with the Nine of Swords. Sometimes the truth really hurts, doesn't it, Scorpio? Sure as shit does. Sure, there's some truth you're going to have to either face, meet out, accept. And it's scaring the living shit out of you. Potentially. It could be someone's connected with you that is afraid of the truth. I feel like there's something you need to say to someone or there's something you're going to need to say to someone that you are really anxious about. You don't know. It might derail things you feel like. But I'm here to tell you the best thing to do is just be honest. Especially if you care about somebody. Don't hide behind fear of rejection anymore. Because you only, like, and I'm being pulled back to that Seven of Swords energy because in the end, you're only hurting yourself. How someone chooses to respond to what your truth is or even how you to choose to respond to what their, someone else's truth is, that is your responsibility. And, and vice versa, how they choose to respond is their responsibility. Even if they end up hurting you or trying to hurt you in the end, that has nothing to do with, the, with you. That has everything to do with them. But if you truly care about somebody, if you truly love somebody, the best thing that you can do is be vulnerable enough to be honest with them. Up front, straight to the point. King of Swords. I ain't pussyfooting around, I ain't fucking around. Here's the truth. You can either take it or you can leave it. And if you leave it, that's your choice. I am not going to be any worse for wear because of it. Respect yourself enough to stand in that authenticity, Scorpio, or someone connected to a Scorpio, cross watcher, whatever. Okay. Potential outcome for the second half of your month. We've got the world. 
upright. Cycle's ending. Change is on its way. I like that. That is a very good outcome here. Coupled with... Whoop, whoop, whoop. Three of Pentacles. Upright. Self-mastery. Owning, your, owning yourself. Honoring yourself. Now, what I'm picking up very strongly here is if... You know what? I'm not even going to say if. I'm going to say when. When you respect yourself enough to not be afraid of your truth and to speak it, you, my friend, are well on your way to self-mastery. I'm also picking up entrepreneurship. You might be, your truth might be, you don't want to work in a certain job anymore. You want to go off and do your own thing with the Three of Pentacles. So ending a cycle from the past and starting a brand new one for yourself business-wise. That is entirely possible, Scorpio. And hello, hello, that fits perfectly in the storyline here. Because if you were doing a job that you hate, that is absolutely Seven of Swords energy. Dece deceiving yourself, lying to yourself. So once you stop that and decide to move away, hell yeah, you've got a victory with the Six of Wands. This is all in the overall energy up here. And there could definitely be some sort of immature mindset that would keep you in a position, in a job, in a situation that you hate, that hurts you, that does not serve you in any way, shape, or form. And it absolutely would be an injustice, an injustice. Wow, that really fits. <laughs> that really fits. Okay. Let's get into some oracle guidance from the unicorns. Spirit, please bring forward the best message for Scorpio from the unicorns for the month of September. Hmm. All right. Best message, please, for Scorpio spirit for the month of September. Best message, please, spirit for Scorpio for the month of September. Woo! All right, Scorpio. Look at you, man. Abundance. Very first card. Okay, you've got three cards here. So we've got abundance is the first one. Enjoy the bounty of life. Your supply is unlimited. Blessings are coming to you. Well, that sure is beautiful, don't you think? And we have two rainbows here in your spread. We've got the rainbow here in abundance, and we've got the rainbow here in the Ten of Cups. Rainbows do speak of blessings. I'm hearing blessings in disguise, especially with this Ten of Cups in reverse and the Ace of Cups situation here. That definitely is a blessing in disguise. Hello, can I get an amen? Patience is your second card. Pause before you take action. Trust that divine timing is at work. Be patient and play whilst you wait. Transformation, there is change happening here, guys. You're gonna have to go through a period of allowing these things to manifest as you make this transition. So yes, please be patient with yourself, with others, and with the situation at hand, okay? And finally, you got Magic. Make a wish. Believe in miracles. Magic surrounds you. I love this card. Beautiful. All right? I mean, there's really nothing, nothing else for me to say there. Trust yourself. Trust in the magic of the universe. Trust and believe in your heart and the guidance that you'll be getting from your heart. All right? Okay, Scorpio. There it is. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope this was helpful for you, and I love you guys. Much, 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 much love, and I look forward to connecting with you again for the month of October. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.